Alright guys, welcome back to another itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Go Hide in a Thicket by Indy, the Indie Accord. The guy's been saying he's been working on the game for a long time and he wants feedback and if somebody says they want feedback and I see your game, I'm gonna at least try it. If it doesn't work, then I'm probably gonna quit playing it and not actually release a video, but if I can play through it, I'm gonna try it so I can give some kind of feedback. Um, so if you want to support the creator slash play the game yourself, I will leave a link in the description. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me grow, well, helps the channel grow, and I always appreciate it as well. So it's supposed to be a Sokoban um, roguelike game. I like roguelike games, but I'm usually pretty freaking bad at Sokoban. I'm like really bad. It's like this block moving game that I'm just awful at. Go hide in a thicket. Press space. Okay, wait a second. I wish it was in a browser. I wish it was like a download game, but what's I? Press tab for recipes. I need to scroll out a little bit. I can't see the full screen. Press tab for recipes. Okay, press and tab. Okay, what's this? I don't know what these symbols mean. What do they mean? Hey, how do I move? Ah, arrow key, you can't use Wasid. Hey, hello. I am a traveling alchemist. I've heard there's a magical gem known as the Philosopher's Stone in this dungeon. Alas, there are monsters, and I'm not strong enough to fight it on my own. Oh, maybe you can help me. Can you escort me to the bottom of the dungeon? I don't know if she's a female or a male. It will be dangerous, but I will help by creating base elements for you to use. You can push them around and combine them to make useful items and monsters. Each floor has a boss monster that holds a key to the next floor. I can guide you to the door, but you must get the key. What? You've never done alchemy before. Here, I will conjure some elements so you can practice. No. Water plus fire equals awesome! Oh, that didn't work. Why do I only have so many moves left? Okay. Sent me two rocks. I made metal! You combine rocks, you get metal. Dope. I can't combine that. Metal and wind is like... Metal and fire equals sword, boy! Hey, that's exciting. Can I combine the wind and the water to make something? I made a cloud! Yay! Well, at least it keeps the tabs on the right. I, 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 I can dig it. Yeah, that doesn't work. Cloud plus sword equals awesome, right? No. Cloud plus sword equals nothing. Nothing. What am I doing with this sword, though? Okay. Ah! Interesting. Sun plus fire equals big sun. No, nope, doesn't equal anything, actually. What if I put the cloud? Where are you going, lady? Oh, there's a monster over there. Can I kick its butt, you think? I made a rainbow! The strongest power. Eat rainbow goblin. Okay, I can't launch the rainbow at the goblin. How do I kill him? How do I attack? What do I do? Okay, that's gonna explode soon, so... How does... Okay. Nice. I don't know what I'm doing with the things I'm making, though. Like, what is my goal? I don't want to get blown up, I know that. That's pretty safe. But... Oh, another bomb. I'm gonna send this bomb at that Cyclops over there and hopefully ruin his day. Oh, hell no. Well, we survived our own bomb. That's exciting. That's always good. I made mud! What are we doing, lady? I made a brick! We're making some real useless items. And I don't know what we, how we use them, to be honest. You lose power when you kill things, though. I did learn that, because I killed the thing. But... Like, how do I use the items that I make? That's a good question. You made a warrior! Oh yeah, get him, warrior! Hell yeah, whoop his ass! Are you gonna whoop his ass? What are y'all doing? Hugging? Yeah, there he goes. What if I put the sword with the rainbow? Okay, my warrior's kicking butt. Go kick his butt. <laughs> no, you're not strong enough, actually. Chill. Can I give him a sword? Well, he is a sword, kinda, ain't he? 
pretty neat game though, I just don't... I'm not good at it. <laughs> I don't quite understand what I'm doing yet, maybe. Maybe I'll get it. Okay, we made another brick. Great success. Bricks are... My warrior's about to get screwed up. I don't know why he went over there by himself. I mean, he almost weakened him enough that I could kill him. Almost, but not quite. What are you doing over there, lady? Okay, guys, so we're starting this over because I trapped my alchemist lady. Okay, wind and rock makes life. That's super important, actually. That's dope. That was something I needed. Because with life, you can make... Um, You can make a warrior, which is the only thing I know how to make that does damage. Okay. With this, I can make a sword, and then I can- Okay, that's where I screwed up last time. I didn't know how to make life. That's like the most important thing to make. Because with life, you can make robots, and you can make weapons, and you can do cool stuff, and you can have them fight for you. So the actions left is how many actions you have before the enemy gets to move. I made a fish, dope. Cooked fish. Nope, that didn't work that way. Where's she going? She kind of seems to go her own way. I don't know why she travels certain ways. I think she's traveling to the key, maybe? What if I put the bomb next to the uh, heart? Living bomb, nice. Ah, and then attacks things. That's pretty dope, actually. Can I put the sun and the bomb together? No. Rock and the bomb? Okay, we need to get away from here before it blows up, actually. Yeah, so heart is, like, probably the most important element you can make. How did I make it, anyways? Heart is made by... Rock and air, so that's good to know. Because last game, I couldn't figure out how to make hearts, so I was pretty much useless. I need her to drop more air so I can make more rock. Or more air so I can make more heart. All right, move, lady. Thank you. So she seems to head to wherever the lock is on the map, so that's just a fun fact. Can I put fire and art together? Fire pixie. Yeah, I think I broke the game now that I know how to make art. Because when you don't know how to make art, it is so impossible. I spent like literally 30 minutes wandering around because I couldn't make art. So frustrating, really. Okay, it doesn't go with air. It does go with water though, so that's cool. Wonder what if rock and air me people. What's air? Nothing. Okay, good to know. You gotta be careful though, because she can surround herself with elements, and then she won't do anything anymore. Like, she'll just become useless. So, your goal really in this game is just to build as much. I wish there were more things that were useful in this game, but heart is literally the best thing. There's different combinations you can make with heart. But if you do not have art, you cannot win. Cause, or that I know of, because I could not fight things. Like, I couldn't make things that actually fought things without art. Kinda need to be careful here, because I don't want to get caught up in that explosion. Wonder what, what mud, and make, mud makes together. Made earth. And with the earth, I can make art. Or metal. And then I can make a sword. And I can make a warrior. Like so. And I can make. That's. Oh, wait. That's the first creature I learned how to make, which is how I realized art was so important. But yeah, I got the key, so I pretty much won this stage. Do I have to push the key? Oh. Is there a back button? Press P to skip. Oh, I can skip my turn. I think I goofed. Unless I can combine that rock with something. I got an idea. It might work, it might not. I have to combine that rock with something that moves 100%. That's the goal. 
So I need anything that moves to get over there. So this wind will work. Cause I gotta move that hard out of that spot or I can't get the key. But I do have 10 pounds, so I can kill this goblin on my own. Okay, move, pixie thing. Key to skip. Go. Now I can move the key. So that's something you gotta be careful of since it's Sokoban, because you can get it stuck. If an object has two things next to it, you cannot move it. That's... Oh, we beat the level! Hooray! I don't know what happens now. Game freezes. Is that it? Is that the rest of the game? Um, is that it? Did they... Oh wait, it's loading. I was about to say, damn! <laughs> oh, yay! Wait, is this the same thing again? Am I back at the start? Oh wait, we got ladders, so something's different. What's the ladder for? This game is... I hate freaking HTML games, bro. Because this should not be happening. My computer's fast, I have good internet. It's just really hard to optimize a game when it's running on HTML. I don't know if this is going to be playable anymore past this point. But you see when it's full screen, it has like that whole corner over there. Toxic. Wonder what that ladder does. I'm gonna talk to Alchemist. I probably won't play this level because it's way too damn laggy. Let's he going. I wish we could. But <laughs> I'm not waiting for this to load for years. Oh, she gave me a heart right off the bat. She chose me. She loves me. She gave me the best item. Oh, she's giving me more hearts. She's surrounding me in them. But the game's not working. She's, I am completely surrounded by hearts. What is going on? Hi right, guys, I guess we're in the video here. So my feedback for the creator is very promising game. I like the idea of creating monsters to fight other monsters. I think it's kind of, uh, I feel like there should be more combinations for things that do damage outside of, and I could be missing it, but I played for like a solid 30 minutes. I couldn't make anything that attacked except for with the heart ability. So, I feel like the heart ability, the heart item is completely overpowered because it's the only thing that I saw that could actually make things that attacked. Um, so having other things that can be made would make it a little bit more, um, like a little bit more fair because I feel like if you never figure out how to make the heart item, like I didn't figure out how to make the heart item until I restarted and I, I found that out by complete accident at the start of it, which was super fortuitous. Because when I was playing the first time, I made a, the Night Warrior guy, and then after that, I never saw another heart, so I couldn't play the game. Um, I would ask the creator, if possible, if you can make the game outside of HTML, like you can make it as an actual downloadable game that can actually function. Um, HTML games just, uh, like even if the game's good, HTML just makes it a pain in the butt to play. I don't know if that's feasible or not, but that's something I would beseech the creator to do if they're able to do it. Like a Unity system or something like that. But I know that takes a lot of time and he's already put a lot of time into the game. And I'd really like to see more of it, but I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I'm not waiting years for this guy to move. Um, and, but, I mean, as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And as always, if you would, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate that. Um, creator, keep going strong. And I hope the feedback helps. <laughs> I hope it does anyways. All right, guys.